Madonna Anoos, and I am here to introduce to you the parts of a DLP projector. Okay. Now let us start with, um, okay, I will be introducing to you the parts of a DLP projector. Let's start with the control panel. This is the control panel where we get to see the power button, the menu, and you can change the settings of the projector using the different control buttons. <coughs> Next is the zoom lever. Now turning this lever left and right will change the zoom level. Then we have here the focus ring. Uh, rotating the focus ring will uh, focus the projected image to the screen. Right, now this is the power socket. We usually find it at the back part of the projector. Uh, you will plug your power cord to this socket. Next is the zoom lens. Now, here is the zoom lens. Zooming it in and out will adjust the uh, focus of your uh, screen. Now, let's proceed to the elevator foot. This is the elevator foot. You can adjust the height or level of the projection once this is adjusted. First, we need to push the elevator button. Okay, then, okay, we may pull it a little bit. Next, we have here the infrared receiver. It receives infrared signal from the projector to the remote control. Now, back part of the projector are the connection ports. Let's you connect your computer, video player, and video camera by using the available connection ports. Okay, tilt adjusting feet. So again, it's at the back. It lets you fine-tune the display single by adjusting this tilt adjusting feet. Okay guys, this time I'm going to show you how to connect your laptop to the DLP projector. Um, we will be needing our ports. Uh, first, we have here the HDMI cable. We have the power cord for the projector. Okay, first, I'll show you how to connect the HDMI cable. Okay, need to make sure it's in the right direction. Next, we need to find the other side. Uh, here. Right. After connecting the HDMI cable, we will connect the cord, the power cord. There you go. And then plug it into the power socket red button and then now it turned blue so it indicates that we're ready to push this button right here turning it on wait until you see the uh, screen or the projector clearly or you may adjust the focus button make sure it's clear for everyone to see. Okay. And of course, you may start navigating your laptop and it should be ready to go. Okay guys, this time I'm going to show you on how to properly turn off or shut down our DLP projector. First, we need to push the power button and then it would ask us to press the button again to power off. Right. And then we need to 
wait until the blinking light is totally turned off, then we may unplug our uh, uh, PLP projector to the power socket. Okay, so I think it's yep, totally turned off. <laughs> okay, and it, it is now safe to unplug our DLP projector to the socket. And we will need to unplug all the other cables to make sure that they are properly um, kept. Okay, and for proper storage, make sure that the DLP projector is not that, uh, you know, not, not very hot, not too hot before we put it to its box for safety reasons. Thank you.